What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and I'm going to show you how to install a touch screen on your iMac. This iMac is a 21 and a half inch screen iMac and, uh, and so if you have an uh, OS 10 or later, this will work just fine for you. I'll leave a link in the video description below where I got them at. This iMac has a magnetic bezel so it just snaps right on, real easy. It's just plug and play to install the software. So this iMac is a 2011, so I'm not gonna need um, the double-sided tape and I'm not gonna need the clamp. And it goes into the holes in the back of your iMac. If you have a 2012 or later iMac, you're gonna have to put the double-sided tape all over the border right here, like shown right here. So let's go ahead and test it out and see if it works. So on your keyboard functions, you wanna set key repeat on one notch above off, like shown right here. You want to set it to slow. Delay until repeat, you want to set it to three notches right here. And then you want to click on, make sure this is check marked, show keyboard. Then next, you want to go to shortcuts and go to launch pad and then show launch pad and set it to F4. Next, you want to go to mouse and you want to set your tracking speed to four notches above slow. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, go on Google Chrome. So far, so good. Beyond has a natural grain-free pet food committed to truth on the label. Uh, let's go switch desktop. Uh, that works. Uh, single gesture, obviously that works. Uh, let's do double tap. Uh, come on. Double, there we go. Double tap. And that works. Um, let's do right click and hold. That works. Uh, let's do drag. That works. <clears throat> Let's do pinch zoom. All right, that works. Let's do rotate. That works. So, a little glitchy, but it does work. Looks like, yeah. So, um, for the most part, it does work. Anytime that it's really acting up and it's not responding at all. What you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to unplug the USB and then plug it in again. And for some reason that fixes whatever issue it's having. So the touch screen does work. It's not really a touch screen itself. There's more like sensors on the side right here that interact like a grid. Um, but anytime the gestures don't work, you have to unplug the USB and then plug it back in, that resets the, um, the software or the, uh, resets the, um, the touch screen. Every time you touch something, you'll see that blue light blink. That's an indicator letting you know that it's working. So if you guys are interested in the touch screen for your iMac, just click on the link in the video description below. If this video was, was informative, give me a big thumbs up. If you know anyone that may be interested in a touch screen for their iMac, Click on that share button below and subscribe to Tampa Tech for more how-to videos like this one. Later guys.